Hey guys, today we're gonna do a sit down video. Usually I show you when I do different tips. We're gonna sit down and I'm gonna tell you 10 hygiene tips that literally changed my life. All these 10, I've learned in the past five years and I can say I see, I've seen the biggest difference of how I smell, how I look, my confidence, all of it. And I'm gonna tell you, okay? A lot of people ask like, how do you know so much hygiene stuff? Cause I used to watch it. I feel like now we just all get, you know, tips from each other and then we tell each other. Because maybe the tips I know, you haven't heard of it, so I'm here to deliver. Every single one I'm telling you, I've tried these and it works. I wouldn't say anything, I wouldn't give advice that I've never experienced. Today, I went to brunch so I still have my outfit on. It was so humid outside, you could see the curls are gone. Look, it's in one big chunk. Anyway, let's get started. Number one, I'll say is switch your toothbrush every three months. I used to think it was six months, but it's actually three months. There's so much bacteria in our mouths, we can't keep that toothbrush for the longest time I used to think like six months is okay obviously carries bacteria imagine all the nights we sleep and then all the germs is just like on top of our mouth and then we brush our teeth and then the rest of the night at the end of the night we brush our teeth and it keeps happening so every three months I really just try to change it and I've seen the biggest difference and it used to be the manual one but now I have the one that spins the oral B so all I have to do is change the top I buy a bun from Amazon I actually don't I don't buy the oral B one I feel like there's no difference maybe it's just like maybe it has a couple of little strands that help but I just get the Amazon one like the $10 and it has 10 pieces Another thing I'll say is use a toothbrush that spins. I say the spinny one. It's so much better because my sister actually works at a dentist office and she says that the, the dentist always says the one that spins is better to clean our teeth. It cleans better. I've been loving it. I haven't switched the spinny one. The only one I have is the vibrate one for when I travel. That's only when I travel, which is okay because I'm not going to be, you know, using it for the longest time. But my regular everyday, the spinny one is better. My number one thing is change your toothbrush every three months, not six. Number two, you already know what I'm about to say because I always show this this on my shorts, videos, on my everything shower routine, on everyday shower routine. It's double cleanse. Has changed my shower game. It has changed my hygiene and that like in my body hygiene. So I am zero aluminum. I sweat more and what does sweat cause? Odor. But I feel like double cleansing helps get the deodorant because I do have to reapply and I feel like what causes the smell under here is reapplying deodorant and the deodorant stays and stays and stays. And then when we go in the shower, we just wash it once. And then that's what I used to do. And then I'll be like, why does it still smell? But then I started double cleansing like a couple of years ago. My goodness. It's better because you don't always get everything the first time. I usually like doing oil cleansing and then going with my smell good body wash. Even if you have one body wash, clean twice. Put it on, wash, wash, rinse it. Rinse your body, put it on again for the second time. I promise you'll see the biggest difference when you double cleanse. You don't always get everything the first time, especially under my armpits. When I was younger, I used to leave the shower and it used to kind of feel like, you know, like when it goes squeaky, like... And I'm like, mm, I did not get all my deodorant. And then when deodorant stacks, it starts to cause odor. Double cleansing just changes the game. Number three, apple cider vinegar is the answer to everything. You can soak in it. You can drink it and laundry. The biggest thing with apple cider vinegar that I have seen is it lessens odor. Anytime I take a bath, I always get like a little bit, a little bit, no. I, I get like, I think half a cup of apple cider vinegar and put it on my bath. I don't really like measure it. I kind of guesstimate. And I just sit and soak, detoxify your feet, your downstairs. For us girlies, it balances our pH. I've been doing that the, like the past year actually, consistently with apple cider vinegar. Also, what I do is when I soak, I try to go all the way down so that it can detoxify the pits. So I kind of sit all the way down and sit there for like 20, 30 minutes. I love it. Now I always have apple cider vinegar in stock. Also, drinking it. You know, ask your doctor. I wouldn't like suggest it fully, but it does help with gut, regulates our blood sugar. There's just so many benefits to it where it cleans our inside and the outside. And then what I've been doing the past year is I don't do apple cider vinegar, but I do white vinegar and I put it in my laundry. So you know where it's supposed to be bleached? I get white vinegar and I put it there just a little bit. When it's mixed in with detergent and softener and everything like that, laundry detergent and then where, where, where the Dang. Where the bleach is at, I put white vinegar. That helps with odor. Oil pulling, it's the most important thing. It's so important to oil pull. I promise you'll see the biggest difference in your oral hygiene. Maybe you don't have that much time in the morning, but make time. That's all I'm gonna say. Just while you're doing your morning routine, oil pull before breakfast, before brushing your teeth. Less bad breath. I feel like oil pulling is really good for your gut. While we're sleeping, there's a bunch of bacteria. All the stuff that our body does not want kind of rises and goes to our mouth. So it's kind of waiting for us as when we wake 
wake up, all the germ is there. That's why there's a lot of advice of don't eat before brushing your teeth because there's a lot of germs. So as you're eating, you're putting it back in your body. Your body's trying to take it out. Eating breakfast and drinking coffee. Like another unpopular opinion that I don't do is I don't drink water immediately when I wake up because of the germ in my mouth. So I feel like it's going back in. So the first thing I do is I go to the bathroom, oil pull in the morning. I'm gonna be honest, I do forget sometimes. Lately, I've been doing it like three, four times a week. I feel like that's enough, but I'm gonna do more research and let y'all know. Three to four times a week. If it's different, let me know in the comments. I love getting new things. I love when you guys try to help and give me advice because I'm also learning. These advice are just from my experience, so I wanna know your experience. If you oil pull, how often do you do that? How many times a week? Let me know, let all of us know so that we're all learning from each other because I wanna know. One, two, three. Four, five, six. We're on the sixth one. Witch hazel helps with odor and freshness. As I mentioned with the odor again, okay? If you see, a lot of my tips are for odor. Witch hazel, non-alcohol. I bought the alcohol one when I first started this. I started this a couple years ago. I really got into hygiene, like lockdown. I just felt like there was germs everywhere. I don't know why, but as soon as I found out, you know, with the, the whole pandemic, it was just like trying to do everything. So it just made me feel like I had to be extra clean. So I'd watch, I'll sit for hours watching hygiene tips, personal care tips. And so I learned a bunch of things and I just, you know, applied it into my life and it really works. Witch hazel, I learned that during the lockdown and I bought the alcohol one and so it used to burn me i used to put it under my armpits behind my ears behind my ears it didn't burn but under my armpits especially after i shave it used to burn and i was like i wonder why i watched mckenna's video and she's like make sure it's non-alcohol i was like there's there's such a thing i didn't even know <laughs> learned that you know alcohol shouldn't touch her skin no alcohol witch hazel should say that at the bottom theirs i think their whole line is non-alcohol but i'm not sure don't take my word but i use the dixon's one and it's just it just has no alcohol basically what that does is that it takes extra dirt so behind your ears if you don't wash it properly inside the shower inside your belly button all the crevices creases behind your knees under your armpits your elbows whatever it is that just keeps bends and creases the whole day hold sweat hold sweat like gets hot easily those are the places I really try to go over again, especially during summer. Right after my shower, before I do anything, before I put on a serum, anything, I go in with the no alcohol witch hazel with the cotton pad, put it behind my ear. Even though I wash behind my ear, you'll be surprised. There's a little tint. Whoa, I didn't get all the dirt. And I do double cleanse too. It's just sometimes you don't get it all the way. Sometimes my shower, I go like this with the witch hazel, it's white. There's nothing. Sometimes I go back and I'm like, ooh, I missed. Maybe I didn't double cleanse. Maybe I didn't wash right. I'm gonna be honest with you because, you know, we're all human. I also put it under my armpits. As we're talking, about crevices and cracks your butt crack sweats all our waste comes out of it so there's just it's not the it's not the cleanest i would say wet wipes are key if you still have that extra like sweat during the summer or you just struggle with odor down there i say use no alcohol witch hazel just try it it's just one swipe do not get in the front Okay, grades, <laughs> not in the front, just like in the back, and you'll see the biggest difference with the odor. I try to not use that same witch hazel from my behind my ears, under my armpits, crack, because it's just, I just feel like it's contaminating different things. It doesn't have to be cotton pad, it could be reusable microfiber towel or microfiber washcloth, just different things if you don't want to waste or you just don't want to keep getting different things. You could use different corners for different things, like mark it, maybe just like rip a little hole for this. You'd be like, okay, this is from under arms, behind my ears, crack, different, you know, and just keep it somewhere where it's sanitary so witch hazel is another good cleaning none of these things prevent sweat i don't think you could prevent it i think there is something like that where you could spray it and then it kind of holds back but our bodies are meant to sweat it's trying to take out all this stuff you know what I mean? so let your body sweat but if you struggle with odor with that and you're zero aluminum or different things or where you just sweat and then this sweat has a smell to it try this let me know Okay. Number seven, wash your hair weekly. You see me do my wash days every single week. I really incorporate this. Even though now I do this full time, I still did it before. I still wash my hair weekly. Just have one day dedicated to it if you have curly hair or natural hair. For us, curly hair, natural hair girlies, once a week, I feel like it's enough to wash our hair because our hair doesn't get greasy as fast. Our scalp still build up. Conditioner, gel, leave-ins. It built up and it causes that scalp odor. Washing my hair weekly and setting time aside, I've seen my hair grow more. Yes, it is genetics, but you see the difference where years it grew a certain length and now half a year it grew. The only thing with me is staying consistent 
taking care of curls, my curls, taking care of my scalp, making sure there's no buildup so that there's room for my hair to grow. There's four weeks in a month, so one of the weeks I pick to clarify my scalp. The other weeks I just use a moisturizing shampoo. Something moisturizing where it doesn't strip away added nutrients. But if you don't have curly hair, if you have straight hair, wavy hair, and you wash your hair daily, maybe every other day, stay consistent to that. Natural oil that comes from our scalp causes odor, so your hair will hold odor. Hair is just, it's crazy how it holds odor because because not odor, it holds smell. Good way and a bad way. Bad way, obviously, the grease will hold smell and it just smells like that bad old hair smell. But if you get, if your hair's clean, obviously, and you get perfume and you put perfume all over it, your hair has most of the perfume. From your clothes, from everything. That's my experience. I would spray perfume on my hair. Today, I sprayed perfume for brunch and it still smells like it. I put the Chan Chanel, cause it smells good. It'll be the Chan Chanel original. I've loved this since while I was younger. I think this is one of the first perfumes I've had. So if it can hold good smell, that means it can hold bad smell. Make sure you are cleaning your scalp each week. You have a dedicated time. Your curls will look nicer. Deep conditioning once a week. Your hair will look healthier. You'll see growth when you stay consistent. And anything, just pick one day out of the week. Whenever you're comfortable, whenever it's more convenient. Tip number eight is change your socks and underwear every single day. Bra is exceptional, if you know what I mean. If you don't sweat with it, you can wear bra like. This is my thing, this is my, you can wear bra like two times, three times. I just feel like you don't need to change bra every day, but that's just me. But if it's sports bra and you sweat in it, change it. Gym stuff, change it. That will literally hold germs and the smell will stick there. Even if you don't take a shower the day before, the next day don't keep the same. Always wash my socks, underwear weekly, no exception. Even when I was younger, when I, when I really wanted to work on my hygiene, if two socks weren't matching on laundry day, but they were both clean, I'd wear it. Because at least they're clean. Tip number nine, reapply to smell good. I feel like the tip that I've learned reapplying is what keeps you smelling fresh and good the whole day. So I always try to keep a perfume, not like those, you know, expensive perfumes inside my purse, but something like a dossier or like, you know, this is like basically a dupe for, I don't know which one this is, but it smells so good. I keep it in my purse. Dossier has a bunch of dupe perfumes. This is not sponsored. So I'd keep one of these that match or the scent of my day, and I'll just spray it. And it doesn't have to be that. I also bought this Real Radiant Sol de Janeiro. Smells so good. This is the type of perfume, summer 23, you're gonna be reapplying all day. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be reapplying body spray that smells really good, or just like a light perfume, just not too heavy. Anytime I want to reapply it, I just reapply it. You know how everybody makes fun of that hot Cheeto girl? No, she had a point. Reapplying things, I know she always smells good. So if you want to smell good, reapply. Deodorant, body spray, also freshen up gum to smell clean it has to be reapplied i love love the comment when people are like who just walked by they smell so good oh yeah it's sada sada i'm like yeah it smell good thank you i love that compliment and last but not least my last tip is prioritize your hygiene as soon as i started prioritizing my hygiene every single time like every month seeing what I need, listening to my body, like what's changing, if, is my hair extra dry, am I smelling extra? I think the biggest transition I've had was switching to zero aluminum. I just didn't know how to handle it because my body went from, you know, using antiperspirant to switching to zero aluminum, which doesn't have it. So I would go to the zero aluminum dove and then the spray didn't really help. I would sweat extra, builds odor, and I just didn't know how to, and I just didn't know what would help me smell and stay fresh the whole day, even reapply it so peony loom also salt hair salt hair that girl loom though i put it on the night before slept and the whole night and i'm like what's that smell i'll be tossing and turning i'm like is that my hair you know like in your dream when you're really sleeping you're kind of talking to yourself like is that my hair i'm not sure i woke up and i smelled my shirt and i'm like is that my deodorant? It lasted through the whole night and it smelled so good it's like that clean rosy smell to it Love it. I really listen to my body, like what does it need? So that time I really had to focus on how to manage my underarm. So I was searching stuff and I found out that glycolic acid helps. Just putting it under regulates the smell. I don't do it every single day, but it still helps with the smell. Just listening to, to your body. If you struggled with skin condition, maybe strawberry legs from shaving, maybe different ways, search those and really find the product. Now that TikTok, that's my Google search. Most of the products I search on TikTok, it actually works. But I'm not gonna suggest that 
every single thing works on there but just do your research listen to your body my legs i used to have the worst strawberry legs razor bumps even razor burns after i shaved and i've learned so many things about shaving because i'm like prioritize it i used to have bumps the same as my skin color but it just had bumps i searched that i found out it was like fungal acne i researched about that and got that cleared up if you prioritize your personal and hygiene care you will see a difference i just grew a passion for it so i wanted to tell others i told my sisters everybody when they ask and i'm like let me just share it to the world and if people like the advice they could take it if i can help others in a hygiene personal way even sharing my faith through personal hygiene which uh, i can do that you know i don't know i could do that if i could just make an impact on others i'm gonna do it so with all the knowledge and personal care hygiene that i've learned by listening to my body researching it's helped me so much i've seen the biggest difference the past keep couple of years if you prioritize your hygiene personal care you'll be the cleanest version of yourself those are the 10 hygiene tips slash personal care tips that really changed my hygiene game and i hope it helped you even if one of these tips helped you let me know and if you have different things because of what, the, what is that whoa sorry about that anyway even if one of these tips helped you let me know and if you have different things to add on let me know in the comments i love learning i want to grow personal hygiene is dear to my heart thank you so much for watching and come again